There's two pieces of meat. Both of them together weighed about 9.6 ounces. So I cut them in half. This piece is a little bigger than this one, believe it or not. It's really a thick piece of meat. If you can see that, if I can get out of the light. It's really a really thick piece of meat. So, but basically, that's this is what, this right here, is what, I've already put this bowl on here and zeroed it out to uh, 4.1 ounces. So that's what 4.1 ounces of meat looks like. It's not really a lot of meat, but when you add a lot of vegetables and other fillers and stuff to it, then guess what? You make a nice meal that's healthy and will fill you up. just want to show you, I've got two uh, approximately four ounce raw pieces of steak here. And the type of meat this is, I really don't like to just broil it in the oven because it comes a little tough. But it gives you something to chew on, so I don't have time right now to stick it in a slow cooker. Usually I would take this meat, put it in the slow cooker with some vegetables and maybe some diced tomatoes uh, that have already diced green peppers and onions in it or some basil or something. They have that diced tomatoes that comes like that. Or I could maybe uh, use an odd juice or something. Uh, but it would cook down and it would become very tender where you could almost pull it apart. Um, this is a Spanish seasoning I got in the, in the dollar store. It, it really doesn't have uh, any calories or what have you, but it has sodium. And you'll find that a lot of your seasonings uh, does have sodium, but maybe not enough, a lot of the other, you know, properties, the dietary fibers, and so on and so forth. But um, this one, I say, is for use with meat, which is a nice little zest to meats. And I have one that has more of a, a red label, and um, I use that for, like, fish and chicken. But anyways, I just put uh, a little bit of seasoning on each side of this piece of meat here. And flip it over. And just sprinkle it on there. And I'm going to put that in my broiler. Um, probably for about 15. 15, maybe 20 minutes. I like it a little on the rare side, but like I said, this meat's kind of tough. But that's all you want to do to prepare your meat. And you want to fix a lot of vegetables, maybe even a salad. I'm going to show you with these uh, fresh green beans, uh, a half a cup, which is 85 grams, how much exactly you can eat. Anyways, that, that right there, I don't know if you can see it in the bowl, is 85 grams. That's a half a cup. That's 30 calories. You want it to sit and snack. You can double that up and have 60 calories worth of vegetables. Okay, and it's not going to hurt nothing. Okay. That's 170 grams right there. That's uh, one whole cup, 60 calories, okay? And that's a lot of vegetables cooked. I can sit and eat that for a snack. I can eat them like this raw, which they're delicious. They taste like sugar smack peas, sugar snap peas, I'm sorry without the sinew, the little vein in there. So you can't go wrong in eating fresh vegetables. And you can eat canned vegetables, you can eat them fresh, you can eat them frozen. You know, some people think there's different nutrient value that might get lost when you freeze it. I don't believe in that. It goes in the bag, it's all in the bag, you freeze it, it's frozen together. Unless nutrients are like living organisms that die upon being frozen or heated up. We wouldn't cook food ever, and we would just eat it raw like this. Mm. Sweet. I could see myself sitting down 
watching a movie, wanting something crunchy, and munching on these instead of potato chips. And they're a little bit sweet too, so if I had a little sweet cheese, I could see where something like this might uh, satisfy the craving. So yeah. And of course I'm going to add some other vegetables and stuff, and I'm going to split this with my mom tonight, making it with the meat that I'm going to show you earlier in the video. And um, I'll show you the whole meal when it's complete, and I'll give you the breakdown of the calories and everything that's going to be in that particular meal, and this is for a dinner, could be for a lunch, um, or like I said, a snack. Okay, this is what 170 grams, which is equivalent to one cup of mixed vegetables looks like. And you have baby carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower in there. And for anyone that doesn't know, cauliflower makes a great substitute for potato, for mashed potato, mashed up. And broccoli is very good, and everybody knows carrots are good for you too. So all that right there is one cup of vegetables. Okay, and these are white mushroom caps with the stem on them, and these are pretty big compared to the ones that I normally get, uh, but four of those is 92 grams, so it's a little over a half a cup. And that's cut up. It's a lot. This is baby spinach, and that is a half a cup, 85 grams of baby spinach. They don't weigh much at all. That makes a nice salad, and baby spinach is very good for you, and very low in calories, just like all vegetables, because the majority of it is like water, which is why salads and stuff are good for people who eat them. But cooked up, steamed well, and mixed in with a favorite piece of meat for a side dish makes an excellent, excellent meal. This is one tablespoon of regular butter. It's a uh, sweet cream, unsalted. And one tablespoon of butter is all I'm going to use to cook my vegetables. And that's the meal. And as you can see, I have the majority of vegetables, one big florette of cauliflower. There was only two that came out of all the grub. Um, and of course, yeah, it's a little piece of meat, but it's thick. It's a thick little piece of meat. So, not bad as far as meat goes. And it'll be quite tasty. And there is fat. And very little bit of saturated fat because of the butter. There's actually 11 grams of fat and 100 in calories for a one tablespoon of butter. And there's some sat two like two grams of saturated fat in that. That sound means I have 15 minutes to eat and go to work. I won't rush it though. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. You should too. Try it out.